Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know who's going to be listening to this. I don't know where you're going to be when you're listening to this. And I don't ever want to take the name of the Lord or coming before the Lord in song. I don't want to take that for granted or sound like I'm being commercial or like I'm rushing his name past just to get on, get to the song. And I don't ever want to come like that. Not only for personal reasons, but I don't want to lead others astray either. Those are my desires, but I would not do those things. But I do want to give God all the praise, credit, glory, and honor for Him raising me up for a time such as this. All my blessings come from Him. I am because He is. I'll share it again as I shared on last evening. I remember 14 years ago, I was reading and the Lord said, Tell them I am that I am. He was speaking to me out of His Word. There's no Old and New Testament. A lot of people say that there is. But Jesus never said it is written in the Old Testament. It is written in the New Testament. You'll never catch Jesus saying that. So it's just God's Word. God's holy and perfect Word. From Genesis to Revelation. I'm not trying to cause no confusion. But seek Him about this. So that He can reveal these truths to you. So they won't be coming from me. But be coming from Him. But all my blessings come from God the Heavenly Father. He's the reason that I'm here right now. All my blessings come from Him. And He's the one who put me here and put me there. And raised me up for a time as such as this. And I dare not take any of that glory away from Him. A lot of times you hear me say, according to your faith, be the word of the Lord unto you. And I always want to take the time and explain that. But when I say the word of the Lord, I mean Genesis to Revelation. And anything that God will share with you. God the Heavenly Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. The Godhead, meaning Acts 17 and 28. Romans 1, 20 and 21. And Colossians 2 and 9. So when I say, according to your faith, be the word of the Lord unto you. I'm standing on Isaiah 28, 10 through 14 when I say that. But I'm meaning any and every and all things that truly come out of the mouth of God. Because it is written in the holy and perfect word of God. It is written in the holy and perfect word of the Lord. That man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And I always want to make myself clear to you when I share those things with you. But according to your faith, not but and according to your faith, be the word of the Lord unto you. In Jesus' name. Man with all his facts, he tends not to or he he simply just can't believe in what he can't. But I know, but I know, but I know, but I know that God is real, and His love I truly feel by faith. I believe. In it is written in the holy and perfect word of God that we walk by faith and not by sight and that the just should live by faith according to your faith be the word of the Lord unto you in Jesus name oh, 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 oh. a blind man stood by the side of the road. Jesus came and he has man, what is your need? He said, I'm blind, Lord, and I just want to see I know, and I know, 
and I know, and I know, and I know that you can heal me. I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. Oh, I believe. I believe, I believe in me, break hope, I believe in me, break hope, I believe, I believe in me, break Romans 12, 6 through 8, 1 Corinthians 12, 8 through 11. And the life of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Immaculate Conception, the birth, the life, the ministry, the death, burial, the resurrection, and the soon return of the Lord Jesus Christ. He says in Romans in, in Revelation 22. Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. And he says, he told me three years ago, in 1 Corinthians 15, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. And if you don't know, these are end times that we're living in. I'm not going to withhold the holy and perfect word of God, the holy and perfect word of God. He's giving me 1 Chronicles 12 and 32, 2 Chronicles 7, 13 and 14. All the whole book of Romans and Psalms. And you say, what does it say about being in times in the holy and perfect word of God and the holy and perfect will of God and the holy and perfect word of the Lord? And the scriptures that he gives me, it is written. Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke 17, Luke 21, 1 Timothy 4, 1 through 5, 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 9, 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 5, and Revelation 22. I, I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. According to your faith, be the word of the Lord unto you in Jesus' name. I believe in miracle. I'm reminded of Mary and myself. Oh, oh, oh. Go to Jesus and cry.